she really wants is love. Yo, all she really wants is love. At first glance, you see a revolutionary, militant, black god, black power, high achiever, pure soul, straight up, truth speaking and seeking and never deceiving. You expect a strong voice, but here, many impotent. Your first thought was on point. She's a goddess, a prophetess, anointed and appointed by the Most High, and she's so fine. She listens to spirits in the wind, and every now and then, independence like fertile ground. And you even hear her playing some joints from the Wuzal Sound Rocks. And if you stick around, you hear some black rock thunder from the underground. She's fine. She's fine. And when you step sideways to cross the line, she usually detects it. Gotcha. As your respect is nicely requested, she's been hurt before. Oh, now you guessed. To lose her is to lose a rare gem, a precious jewel, a lesson so personally learned by a chain of fools. This revolutionary sister healer is sweet. So why these crazy game cats try to be so cruel? She's not like the other chicks how to treat a man like that too. Cats be coming to her with metaphysical wisdom from above. Like scientists, fire rituals and kundalini energy and reiki and kama sutra and crystals and tarots and soothsaying and polygamy and I'm the 19th scientist from the constellation Orion and I'm just what every woman wants. I'm the sex prowess ball. And I got money. And I want marriage and a baby. And whatever I think you want to hear, baby. But what they don't realize, what they don't realize, is sometimes in the morning, midday, midday or midnight, she, she cries. Asking the Lord why. Why can't they just come with honesty and plain truth? Instead of metaphysical blah blah from above, she's somebody's baby girl, and all she really wants.